the city, the team, uh, the league itself, you know, it's a great league. Uh, you get to go up against some of the best competition. I mean, even our first game is against Zagreb, so, you know, a little, you're a league club, and then you get to go up against Retis, Neptunis, Lacava. So, like, every night is a tough night, and just, that's just, as a basketball player, that's what you want to be up against the best competition and playing against some of the best players around the world. So. Akimas Raitas buvo gražiausių Šiaulių akimirkų per pastaruosius septynerius metus dalis. Persitvarkęs klubas 2017-2018 metų sezone liko penktas. Naudingai žaidusi legionierių Saulės miesto komanda tuomet norėjo pasilikti dar bent metams, tačiau įvykiai pasisuko kita linkme. Me and my agent was working on a deal to hopefully you know, come back here and I got an opportunity to play in the Philippines that kind of came early in the summer and I always wanted to play there. I heard it was a good league and stuff like that. So I went there and you know did pretty well. Team wise we didn't do as well, but individually I did well. And then when I came back, I honestly I wanted to take a break for a little bit and spend more time with my family and stuff like that. And then the Qatar job just opened up uh, later in the year and it was a pretty good uh, situation. We wound up winning the championship too, so it was pretty pretty nice. Įskaitant egzotiškosius Katarą ir Filipinus, Raitas per karjerą žaidė net 14 klubų. Spain is one of them, just the level of competition there, playing in the ACB. Um, New Zealand was pretty nice, just because I, that was like the farthest I've been besides the Philippines, obviously, and it was just like the culture and just like everything over there, like the nature, like it was just beautiful, a beautiful place. Um, here, I would have to put up there because this is probably like one of the first organizations that really like I think like treated me like really well and just I knew like I was accepted here and like everybody like genuine, genuinely liked me and like because obviously like they wanted me back so it was just Dar viena priežastis jungianti Lietuvą ir Filipinus į gerų atsiminimų grandinę šių šalių meilė krepšiniui They have their own like ESPN channel and where they where they play the games is live and uh Everybody knows you. I remember I, like I would walk around the mall and like people would just come up and stop me like Akeem, like let me get an autograph or a photo. Like even uh, my family came to visit and like they were just stopping us like all the time. So like everybody out there knows your name and you know they treat basketball like obviously like here like it's just it's just awesome over there to them so Dėmesio krepšininkui netrūksta ir Lietuvoje, tik čia jo nuot aukštaugio reikia nusipelnyti. They recognize me, some people, like, they would just stare, uh, some people would say hi, so, you know, it's kind of like mix, but I see kind of like when I come to the games and, like, we shake everybody's hands, I see the same people in town, so, like, and that year I was here, like, when we started to, like, win a lot of games, a lot of people were like, oh, like, good job, Akeem, like, coming up to me, so. Uh, they know, they know, it's just, you gotta win them over over here, like, if you win in, then they kind of show you, like, a lot of love. Ne visa Akimo karjera buvo nusėta meilės ir pasisiekimo. 2013-2014 sezone Raitui teko žaisti Kamenskis Dnipro Azot klube, tai laikotarpis sutapęs su Maidano įvykiais Ukrainoje. The time when Russia was invading and they had the war and, like, protesters was getting killed and stuff like that and it was it got pretty crazy out there i would say that was probably the worst Bet grįžkime prie geresnių laikų. Atsiminimu apie Šiaulius, kurie akimui dar gyvi ir kurios savo gerų žaidimus, sako jis, reikėtų paversti naują sėkmės istoriją. We had a really good team and uh, everybody gelled, you know, perfectly together and we came up short in the playoffs, but uh, we definitely thought like we could have won that series against Lakavis, but you know, this year is a totally different team, you know, a lot of the same guys, Efka, uh, Sharunis, you know, it was here when I was here, so there's some chemistry there between us, but, you know, right now, you know, we're gelling with the new guys and, you know, we'll see how the future holds. You know, individual goals, I would just say the ultimate team goal is first uh, to make the playoffs. Uh, obviously, uh, last year they didn't do so well coming off the season that we had where we finished fifth in the league and could have finished higher. You know, we let a few games slip that year, but ultimately make the playoffs and, you know, then go at it from there.